In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get every sound you need out of an ES-335 guitar. In this video, we'll unlock all the tone secrets this guitar has to offer using the controls and the pickup combinations, enabling you to cover a ton of ground. This actually might be the only guitar you ever need. So let's talk about the basics. Obviously, we have two humbucker pickups here. We've got a neck humbucker and a bridge humbucker. There's a three-way toggle switch. That'll go from the neck pickup to the middle and then all the way to the bridge pickup. And then let's take a look at the volume controls. I've got a volume dedicated just for the bridge volume dedicated just for the neck. Same thing applies to the tone controls. I've got a tone for the bridge and a tone for the neck. Okay, so let's run some of those controls now uh, applied to a clean tone. Here's the neck pickup. Let's roll down the tone. Now let's go over to the middle position. Now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna roll both the tones down to the same level. So now let's put them both to about five. Since now we're listening to both pickups, these two controls are gonna be shared now. So that really helps with getting uh, you know, to a darker voicing if needed. All the way to the bridge now. Back up. So now let's apply those same things to some crunch tones. I'm playing through a Mesa Boogie Mark 7 amplifier behind me here. So let's start with the neck pickup. Let's roll that tone down. Over to the middle. And again, I'm gonna just go ahead and do both tones at the same time, down to about three, just because now they're working together because there's two pickups selected. And then finally over to the bridge, wide open on the tones. Let's roll that tone down now. So as you can hear, it really helps on some of those high notes as well. It kind of adds a little bit of a, 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 you know, like a high smoothening effect, almost like a, a velvet tone on those high frequencies. So now that we've explained the basics and you've heard some of the tone controls in action, let me show you something that's real special on uh, this particular guitar where you've got two tones and two volumes. I'm gonna start blending the volumes in between on that middle position, and you're really gonna hear a lot of variety besides just having your neck, middle, and bridge. So let me show you the three that are already on here. That's your neck, you got your middle. And then of course you've got your bridge. So while I'm in the middle position, these two volumes become a blend control for adding and subtracting your neck pickup and your bridge pickup. Let me show you what I mean. Here is the uh, volume positions all the way wide open and the tones, middle position. Watch what happens when I roll back on the neck pickup. Here it is all the way up. Now, in that same fashion, let's reverse that. Let's now start playing with the bridge pickup. So here's the middle wide open, both pickups.
So as you can see, it darkens it a little bit and thickens it when you take away some of the bridge. And then in the opposite scenario, it actually adds a little bit of treble and leans out the bass when you're taking some of the neck pickup out. Really cool thing there. Let's hear that all again with uh, some crunch tone. So let's start again with just the middle position. Roll off some of that neck. It's almost like you have a second bridge position sound there. So now back to middle, uh, both pickups even. Now let's roll off a little bit of the bridge. All the way up. Same thing again, let's do a little bit of the bridge off. Now, on top of that, let's start playing around with the tone controls, okay? So, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the neck down a little bit in the middle position, so we've got that kind of secondary bridge sound. And now let's roll the tone down on the bridge a little bit. In that same fashion, let's roll it back up. Let's go lower on the neck tone. All the way up. And then all the way up here on the neck pickup. Both pickups wide open. Just a little bit of tone off the neck. And then just a little tone off the bridge. Take a little bit of the neck off at the same time volume wise. So as you can see, a lot of tone shaping on tap with this one guitar. So before we move on to the next section of the video, make sure you hit the like button, ring the bell, and subscribe to our channel. It'll keep you up to date on future videos. Let's keep going. So now let's talk about something highly useful with a guitar like this. We're gonna set up a, uh, a tone or a scenario where I can play lead and rhythm on the same guitar without switching channels on an amp and without using a pedal. Check this out. Let's say my lead tone is on the bridge pickup, okay? Okay, so now let's go to my neck pickup. But instead of letting that be wide open, let's bring the volume down. So it cleans up nicely. Now I have a rhythm sound. Now when it's time for a solo, flip down to the bridge, which is on full volume. And now you have a lead and rhythm sound. So remember, all the gear that we're using in this video, the guitars, the amps, and everything, you can find it in the links of the description below. It'll take you straight to our website and you can see pricing information and order direct from there. Let's keep going. Okay, the last thing I wanna show all of you, it's super fun, it's, a, it's something that looks cool on stage and it really helps uh, you stand out. It's called a stutter effect. All I gotta do is roll the volume off on the neck pickup and when I ring something out like a chord or if I'm using it in solos or whatnot, it sounds like you're almost using a tremolo pedal. Check it out. Now, cool thing about this too is, I can use it as a kill switch. So if I've got some feedback issues or something like that, you know, check this out. And there you go, something super fun or it's also used as a utility tool as well.
Chances are you're into the ES-335 and all it can do. If you want to know more about this instrument and the other offerings that we have, check out our ES Buyer's Guide. Thanks for watching.